Here we go, y'all. Back again. Here we go with this ramen spaghetti. Sure to be a family favorite. Check out the Instagram live. Let's go. All right, here we go, y'all. This is a live cook with the Browns. They know it's live. We're, we're doing this live. See, this is see how she always heckling me. <laughs> this is uh, Simple Scoop Co. Southern Roots Backyard Barbecue. Follow us on Instagram, social media, uh, Facebook, all that kind of great stuff. This isn't barbecue. This is Simple Scoop. This is Simple Scoop. Okay. Okay. She, she going to say something every single moment. <laughs> That's why I'm going to do something that she don't like me doing. Moving around up in the kitchen. So, um, just want to bring you guys something that uh, you guys, that we haven't done before is a live. I'm going to try and keep it within um, 10 minutes. Five. Five minutes. Um, so, we're going to just make a quick meal so you guys can see kind of what we do uh, in the house on a regular basis. Um, I, we try and eat by 6.30, but of course... It's 6.37. We're late because of you. <laughs> Let's be clear. Because of you. So we try and eat by 6.30 in the house. If we can't, it's, it's always something. We're going to try and get it done in 10 minutes. You're right, eating so up started. your time with all this all talking. Right. So here we go. All right. So we going. So my daughter wanted ramen. We wanted uh, spaghetti. So we're doing ramen spaghetti. Alex I know said it's five crazy. minutes. He five agrees minutes. with me. Alex, you're horrible. Don't say anything <laughs> to agree with her. All right. We're not going to do a whole bunch of... I'm not going to do a whole bunch of water. Put in as much water as you like. All right, so I got my uh, garlic bread right here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in while we're talking. Uh, set it for about 13 minutes at 350. So that'll be done in no time. So maybe 13 minutes I got total. I, I, Alex ain't never seen no cooking show uh, in no uh, five minutes. When you see the cooking show for five minutes, do you go on your HDTV or Food Now you're down to see? three. See, there we go. All right, so we're going to wait for the water to get hot right here. Um, we're going to use the ramen. We're going to throw away the season packets, right? That's what we're going to do. And while the water's getting hot, we're going to do three of them. While the water's getting hot, we're going to uh, finish up our pasta, our meat sauce. So I know this is crazy. I know some of y'all are wondering what's going on here with the meat sauce. So let me tell y'all something. Don't not season up your meat sauce. Don't want to be one of those people who, who have the meat sauce that's not seasoned. So I already seasoned the meat sauce and everything. I try and do a lot of stuff in advance. So um, check it out. You can see right here I have some frozen uh, spinach because I got to get the vegetables in for the kids. So I just mix it in with it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stir that up real quick. Throw me some pasta sauce in here. I'm not giving you the name of the pasta sauce. Stop moving it for you flinging stuff all over the place. <laughs> you know, you know you, to keep your hands off stuff. You know you don't touch nothing in the kitchen. I think everyone enjoys my cooking better. Nobody's had your cooking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Except for that nasty tuna you used to get <laughs> back in the day when we first met. <laughs> Y'all, she used to make Lies. some nasty tuna. She put tuna with some, some uh, with some, uh, uh, what she put tuna with? Uh, some turkey meat. So this is ground turkey, by the way. So I got some pasta sauce right here, pre-made. Again, we're trying to make it quick, right? So the family can eat in a reasonable amount of time. This is uh, a uh, garlic, uh, no, tomato basil in there. Throw that in there like that. I know some of y'all are funny about it. So some of you guys are real, itch, real funny about the pasta sauce and mixing it with the meat. This is what we're doing right here. This is, this is the brown. This is what we're doing. Quick and easy. Yep, quick and easy. We're not taking a lot of time. We got to make sure the kids eat. And we want to see, you know, we want y'all to know that this is I a lived-in kitchen. Well, we know you need to eat because you start acting a whole plum fool if you don't eat properly. <laughs> Ow! Here we go. The abuse is happening. This is all recorded, so this is this they, is happening. All they this see is, is the meat. All right, so I'm going to throw a little extra pot sauce I had in the refrigerator. I'm going to throw it in there to go along with it. All right? And that's done. Done. I'm going to throw a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. I can be your sous chef. You couldn't be sue nothing. You can get sued. That's about all you're going to do. All right, so I'm all out of this right here. Italian seasoning. Um, I also, it wasn't a lot, so I'm going to throw a little bit of uh, oregano in there to get it moving. And um, because we already had basil, I was going to add basil, but I'm not going to add basil to it. So pasta sauce um, is, for the most part, it, it's done. I made so much. Meat sauce. Meat, uh, excuse me, meat sauce. I made so much meat sauce on purpose. Um, I really want to... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, prep some food for me for later on. 
Um, but again, if you can, so I did a family version. Let me go ahead and put these in here. You see the water's boiling. Again, we throw them in there. And y'all know how we do, we gonna get it popping. So we gonna throw those in there like that. Throw one more in there. You could use, instead of water, you can use, um, what's the right word? What, what can you use? Agua. Uh, no, uh, olive oil. This is why you got sous chef. <laughs> this is actually why you got a sous chef. I said agua. No, you can use, um, if you wanted more flavor, you can do chicken bouillon or something like that. You can put that in there. So you're gonna just keep that, you know, move that around, just like you would do when you was a kid and you would do your ramen. That's all we doing. Same process, no different. Some adults eat ramen. Still? Still. Okay, well then, for y'all grown folks who eat ramen. Um, you could put one flavor packet in there if you really want to season it up. I, I, I'm not going to do that. You can. Um, so this right here is done, ready to go. As you can see, I got the spinach in there, the, the tomatoes, you know, from the sauce in there. I got a, a pretty um, uh, authentic sauce that wasn't that wasn't very inexpensive. You can use whatever sauce you like though. If that's, if that's your deal, you're good to go. All right, so now that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut that down, right? No, I'm gonna actually turn it off. As you see, you want the pasta to get just at the point of doneness. You don't wanna overcook it, because um, if you overcook it, then you're gonna have an issue um, when you do the next step, which is really simple. So again, this is quick and easy ramen pasta. Quick and easy ramen pasta. And then if my wife allows me to, I'm gonna do a quick little dessert. No. Okay, well then that's, there you go. So if y'all wanna see more of these, talk to her. Cause you know, she be acting funny about the whole recording thing and don't wanna do it. And then be coming home late like she did today. And messing up my whole timeline. <laughs> For those of y'all on the East Coast who eat late, uh, I mean, who eat at this time, great. You know, we can, we can cook together. Um, for those on the West Coast, y'all can cook uh, and watch the replay and actually buy the ingredients. So maybe people on the East Coast, you may be in trouble because we're cooking at 6 30. You can't go back out and get it. Um, but a lot of stuff I just have at the house and I just, and I, I, and I just make it. Um, tomorrow, um, if she allows me to, um, or sometime this week, I'm not even going to say nothing because then y'all going to say she need to do it and then she'll get mad at me because we recorded. Um, but I'm, I'm, out, I'm out this week. Ooh, dang, That's that right there is hot. That's what you get. Dang, that That's thing right there get. is hot. Talking the mess. E the end. Talking uh, mess. Yes. Yes. So there you go. You're going to put these right here in here. I could have had two these more. noodles pre-made. No, because if I had them pre-made, the people would be like, oh, how you cook your noodles? It's well, you ramen. Could, you could have made one. Whoa there, Captain. One what? One packet? Yep. That don't even make no sense to make one Makes packet. Makes sense to me. Don't make sense at all. All right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she drive me to drink. She drive me to drink. Uh, today I'm drinking, um, what is this? I don't think you should be drinking on camera. This is nice. Um, this is, um, Apothic Red. You hear me? Uh, Winemaker's Blend. Give it to me. No. Give no, it to me. Keep your hands down. Winemaker's Blend. Keep your hand, keep your feet off me too. Uh, 2017. Really good. Mm-hmm. All right. So I got that done. Noodles about right. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them off for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna drain them. And then. You may wanna get a pot holder. What? I'm not getting no. Oh, that's what I can use. Yeah. Drain them into the sink real quick. Yeah, I'm not trying to make a lot because, you know, my kids gonna eat something else. Oh, that's what I was saying. So you can make the sauce universal, right? You can make the pasta sauce universal. I mean, excuse me, the meat sauce universal, right? Or just make the meat first, and then you can add the sauce to it. Why do I say that, right? I'm saying that because- Because tomorrow's can, Taco Tuesday. Yeah, because you can do Taco Tuesday tomorrow. You can do Taco Tuesday tomorrow. No, it's not, we doing fajitas tomorrow. And wind down Wednesday. Uh, and then you could do, or you can do a, uh, what, what's the right word? You can do a- uh, Tempura Thursday. You can do Sloppy Joe's as well with manwich oh i make my uh, homemade sloppy joe so if y'all want to see that manwich? let me know i don't use manwich i said i make homemade sloppy joe all right so there you go so those are the noodles right there real simple and what we do now we just spoon in the, uh the sauce spoon in the sauce i know some of y'all are, are real funny about that too 
about spooning the sauce and all this kind of stuff like that. Oh, don't spoon in the sauce um, because you don't you only want the uh, the uh, pasta meat sauce on top. No, we mixing it in. So we do. All right, so you got that there, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go ahead and everything is hot. Then go ahead and mix that in together, right? So you're gonna mix all that in. This looks like a dish I've made before. You have never made this a day in your life. <laughs> Stop telling people that you cook. <laughs> they gonna be so confused by this, especially people who know you. They gonna be like, "What's going on here, Stacy? Cook? When you start cooking?" <laughs> All right, so we gonna mix it. Okay, excuse me. She's being mean to me, y'all. All right, so we gonna do this right here. We gonna do add some. I'm gonna do it all right here. So you can do some Parmesan cheese in there. All right, just a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna mix in there. You can get from the store some um, Italian mix, right? Cause I, my kids like it cheesy. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it cheesy for them. All right, so put that right there in there. All right, there you go right there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in. There you go. Just to get all that cheese throughout. All right, all right. My wife's saying I need to wrap it up. This is what she's doing. She's always touching me to so wrap it up. I think she just like touching me, to be honest with you. Um, and she just says wrap it up. Don't, don't be all on my leg like that. <laughs> all right. So there you go. There you have it. And then what we do is. Little cheese on top. There you go. Right there. Put it in the oven at 350 for about um, 10, 15 minutes. And then um, I'll post a picture of the final product. So you guys can see what it looks like once it's baked and everything like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, again, cooking with the Browns live, Simple Scoop Co. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I would show you the uh, garlic bread, but she told me to wrap it up, and I got two minutes and 20 seconds left to go. And I've done everything else I need to do. Oh, let me... You'll post a picture. Are, are you Say gonna, goodbye. You're not going to let me show the Say good dessert? Night. Okay. Have a good night, y'all. Get dessert tomorrow. I'm not doing that tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Bye.